All right, everybody, we're joining in on this open tag that was started by Tobias. So if you get a chance, go over and check out his video and check out all the response videos he has received on this open tag uh, for the most carried knives of 2023. Uh, this is my most carried blades. Um, you'll see why here in just a second. Um, but uh, we'll kind of jump right into this and just start with uh, my gunny. This is my fixed blade that I love. I cherish this knife. This knife has been to a couple of people on YouTube's uh, channel so far this year. Because I love it and I like sending it to people and to see what they think about it. But Ken at Last Chance Knives just sent this back to me and this has been out to Boston Blade Reviews. Um, this is just a phenomenal knife. I have a few Bark Rivers, but this one right here is my favorite. I had a full height convex grind put on this. I had the ramp removed. Um, it's just a great feeling knife. I use this to butcher hog and whitetail when we get them, uh, usually in, the, in late fall. And we can the meat and make sausages and stuff. And this is a great knife to just help with that. Still sharp since I've got it back from Bark River when I had that uh, full height grind put on there. The heat treat on this is phenomenal. So that's why I love it so much. I've got Bark Rivers and Magna Cut 3V, but this right here does the job. So why even break those ones out? You know, that's my most carried fixed blade, even though it's been in a lot of other people's hands so far this year. But if I'm going out and need a fixed blade, I'm taking that with me. Um, we'll start over here on the old modern side, um, the pair of three. Everyone knows this is my tried and true EDC that I, I and I still do use it when I'm going fishing and whatnot. Um, but this right here is just, I love the size of it. I love that I can slip this in my pocket when I'm going fishing. I'm not going to worry a ton about it because if I lose it, I can just buy another one. It looks exactly the same. Put this little lanyard on there to pull it up out of my pocket. Um, but I usually had this with me every single day until... Boston Blade Reviews sent me his 112 Sport Pro to check out. And I had his Sport Pro for about a day, and I immediately uh, ordered me one. So now this one right here is kind of taken over. This is the Buck 112 Sport Pro in S30V Boss Heat Treated Steel. I love this knife because it is one-handed opening, one-handed closing. It's got the thumb studs. Pretty easy to sharpen. I've uh, sharpened this on diamond stones because when it came, the grind was kind of all jacked up on it. So I fixed the grind. We look at that. It is, it wasn't even ground all the way out to the edge on one side, if you can believe that. <laughs> so this kind of uh, took the spot. And the reason being is because of the beefiness of the knife. I love the feel of this one in my hand. I just feel like I can get more done with this torque wise. So that's why I love this knife so much. But this knife right here is nothing to gawk out. It's got the Lynch Northwest clip on it. I think it's a bronze anodized. I love Lynch Northwest. As a matter of fact, Boston just put a Lynch Northwest clip on his uh, Nata 5 in the Spy 27 steel. He is loving that knife. So, uh, yeah. and here, the old trusty Mohawk. Um, watch a lot of videos on this blade, and I ordered me one, and I made myself carry it for over a month. Then I sent this knife, I think I sent this to Boston, and he ordered one. I sent it to Doom Crew Outdoors. He, I don't think he ordered one, but uh, I, let, I said, hey, take it out and beat on it. I don't care. I mean, this is, I think altogether I have $33 in this knife with discount codes because I got it from Blue Creek um, back when they were still open. And uh, Blue Creek was just a great company. So Rosecraft Blades, uh, they do big things. This is D2 Steel. But look at the beefiness of this thing. And that's why I used it. And that's why I sent it to people. It's like, hey, beat on the thing. I really don't care what kind of shape it comes back in. But it come back perfect. I don't know if you could hurt this knife. <laughs> so, yeah. So, those are my three uh, modern blades that I usually have on me. And then my fixed blade that I'm, I'm carrying. If I, you see me out with a fixed blade. But now let's get over to uh, my more traditional knives that I've usually got on my hip. These will be in my pocket. One of these will usually be on my hip. And I do have other ones, but I didn't want to break out too many knives. But we'll look at the first one, the 6375. And, uh, oh, I forget what they call that. Oh, uh, Smoky Valley Sunset or something like that. But, but this is just the large stockman. She's, uh, she's got the uh, patinas on her. Love this blade. Um, Use it all the time. If we look there at the tank stamp, USA, 6375 and 1095 steel. And of course you also have a little spay blade here. And it's just easier to open a spay when the, I don't use this blade a lot, but it's easier to open, open it when the uh, 
when the sheet foots out. Oh, but you can see we've got carbon steel there. But I think this is called Smoky Valley Sunset or something like that. But uh, if we look, and, and I like it because it didn't have a shield because if you're going to use a case a lot, sometimes the shields will pop out on you. But we got carbon 1095 there on your bolster. But this is a pretty well-made knife. You know, not a lot of huge gaps. And, uh, you know, the walk and talk is decent on it. And it gets the job done, uh, especially this blade right here. I use it the most probably. Yeah, sharp. Easy to sharpen too. Now this next one was actually a gift from our old friend Pete over at Jersey Knife Guy. He kept telling me, he's like, man, I got some stuff picked out to send to you and Boston and Richter and some other people. And uh, he sent these and it did not disappoint. Uh, this is a carbon steel American Workman series um, sawbuster. Now, if you look, you can tell I've used this. Uh, we got her teenered up pretty good. So this is a great blade. It's got a lot of uh, walk and talk too. I mean, it's just a phenomenal, phenomenal little knife. And it's a great knife because it's a gift and I will always cherish this and I will always have this on me. So just a good blade here from Pete. I mean, he done a great job in picking these out. And, you know, these are well-finished little knives. I mean, this one needs cleaned up. But, I mean, he sent them to us and uh, I think he wanted to see how much patina we could get on them. And I, I kind of went to the dance early. <laughs> Now, uh, I think this last one, um, Copper Lock here, I think I was watching this and I actually sent it to Doom Crew. And I was like, hey, buy this knife. And he was like, dude, I can't right now. I'm like, well, I don't want to buy it. And I was, but there was only like five minutes left. And he's like, dude, just jump on it. So I just hurried up and bought it. And I'm glad I did because uh, I bought it as a user. You can look, I laid a 17 degree edge on this uh, bad puppy. So she is sharp, she will slice. We got a little scratch on the blade there from something, but I mean, this is a 98 model. I think I paid $60 for it, but the bone on it is just, the bone on this thing is pretty phenomenal. I actually got me another one today in the mail, uh, a blue one. Not sure what year it is. I haven't even looked at it quite yet. So yeah, this is my uh, red saw cut, red bone saw cut copper lock. And I love this knife and uh, easy to open, easy to carry. If you look, we're pretty on center right down the middle. But I just like the bone on it. And like I said, I did buy it as a user. So I, I wanted to put a 17 degree edge on it. These usually come with a pretty, I'd say a high degree edge because I mean, you can barely even see the edge when you get these. I'm not sure what uh, angle they use, but I'd say it's, 20 to 25 where if you look at this 17 puts a pretty pretty thick edge on her like a pretty tall edge that's because of course you're you're laying your stone down a lot a lot more but yeah i love this knife i love the way it fits in my hand um love the lock back feature on it the long nail pull just a great blade so this is my most carried knives of 2023 again look at this thing though this is this is it. And of course, you know, got to have a good sheath with some Tina on it too. You know, we've got the Tina's on the sheath. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is it. This is my most carried knives of 2023. Thank you, Tobias, for uh, creating this open tag. I really, I really wanted to make this video and I really enjoyed it. Um, guys, don't forget about Happy Hour Live Chat. I'm putting this out on a Saturday evening. So Happy Hour Live Chat is Sunday, 530 Eastern, 430 Central. And we got J.O. Ventures on this week, and we've got tons of giveaways. Um, we'll have enough for two more pack, two more giveaway packages. If you go over to Addicted to Blades channel, you'll see what he got as a first place winner last week. Uh, he just put that video out earlier today. So thank you very much for doing that, Addicted to Blades. We appreciate that. But guys, this is it. Most carried knives of 2023. I hope to see you tomorrow at Happy Hour Live Chat. And uh, come along for the ride. Stay sharp and stay strong out there.